N-phase microinverters, solar edge power optimizers. Which solar system gives you the highest efficiency and best performance going into 2022? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And here on the Solar Surge channel, we talk about all things related to renewable energy, battery storage, and backup power systems for your home. Now, in today's video, we're going to be doing another head-to-head -head comparison of the two leading residential solar brands, the Enphase with their microinverter system and SolarEdge with its DC power optimizer system. Now folks, if you're looking at different solar power options for your home, you'll probably find that Enphase and Solar Edge are the two most commonly recommended brands. And the reason is because both of these systems offer what's called module level power optimization. Now, let me give you a little bit of history about residential solar. Back in the day, like about, about 10 years ago or so, if you had a solar power system installed on your roof, generally the solar panels would be wired together in series, kind of like a, like a daisy chain format. And then circuits would be brought down from the solar panels on the roof down to a central inverter at ground level. Now, every solar power system that's hooked up to the grid needs an inverter. And what the inverter does is it converts DC current, direct current, coming off of the solar panels into usable alternating current power, or AC power, which is what the utility grid's wired for, what our homes are wired for. And so at some point in the system, there has to be that DC to AC conversion with the inverter. So in the old days, we would simply have a, a central inverter, what we call a string inverter, at ground level, typically mounted right near the electric meter that would perform that, that inversion function. Now, the problem though was that when you have those solar panels daisy chained together or series connected together on the roof, in the old days, if you had shading impact, let's say there was a shadow cast from a nearby tree that uh, cast a shadow on one of your solar panels, um, it wouldn't just knock down the production of that solar panel, it would knock down the production of the entire string. So when we talk about a group of series connected panels, we call that a string. And so the whole string would have its power knocked down, even if only one panel was affected by shade. Now, today's modern solar panels have done some things to solve that problem right at the solar panel level. And so we, looking at today's modern five and six bus bar designs, giving the electrons more paths to flow around a shaded cell, or also the, the, the duo modules that use half cells and again, provide alternate current paths for the electrons to flow so that shade in one area of the panel doesn't necessarily affect the overall panel's output. But back when these two systems first became available and Enphase really was the first to come to market with a solution, th there was no way to mitigate shade. And so homeowners were demanding a solution to this shade mitigation. Now, the way Enphase handled the problem was their architecture eliminated the central inverter altogether. And so instead of having one inverter for the whole system, they use what they call microinverters, or basically a small inverter that installs up underneath each solar panel to do the DC to AC power conversion. Now the advantage to this approach is that it completely eliminates a central point of failure. Instead of having one central unit that handles the whole system, you have each individual solar panel essentially operating independently like its own little power plant. And so if one panel went down or if one microinverter went down, the power output for the rest of the system would still keep on flowing. The other nice thing about that design is that it gives you module level monitoring. So you can pull up on the Enlighten app or you can pull up on the Enphase website and you can actually see not only your total system output, but you can see output down to the per solar panel level. So a lot of homeowners like that visibility. They can make sure that if there was, let's say, a panel that was uh, not performing or underperforming, they can see that on the app right away. Now, the downside to the microinverter architecture is that it's a little bit more complex wiring on the roof. There is a limit to how many microinverters you can have connected together per circuit. 
So it's not uncommon to have to run two or three separate circuits up to the roof and then branch them out on separate branch cables. So a little bit more complicated, just a slight bit more expensive in terms of the wiring, but the performance benefits and the visibility that system owners had being able to track each module made it all worth it. And so Enphase became very popular here. Now, back in 2014, SolarEdge came on the scene with the DC optimizer solution. And their architecture was a little bit different. It was kind of a hybrid between the old string inverter and the micro inverter system. With the Solar Edge system, you have a DC optimizer device that plugs up again underneath each solar panel. And each of these has a unique serial number so that you also have the ability to monitor down to the per panel level on the app. But instead of doing a DC to AC conversion like the micro inverter, the DC optimizer does a DC to DC conversion that allows underperforming modules to essentially leapfrog, uh, have their, their power leapfrogged over so that again, it's mitigating the negative impacts of shading on the roof. However, all of these optimizers still have to be strung together and then circuits brought down to a central inverter at ground level. And so that's kind of the, the Achilles heel or the weakness of the DC optimizer system is that you still have a potential point of failure at ground level where if the central inverter goes down, you're gonna lose system production altogether. Now, if you recall my previous video on DC optimizers versus microinverters, you may recall that at the time, I was very uh, hesitant to recommend SolarEdge because of some of the experience we had with some of the previous generation SolarEdge inverters, we saw failure rates that were in some cases, you know, eight or 9%. And of course, remember, when you have an inverter failure, you're losing your entire system output. So at the time, I tended to favor the Enphase microinverter system just really mainly because of reliability. You know, in terms of performance, these, these systems right now are about equal in terms of performance. But of course, with reliability, if your system goes down and you lose all your en energy output, then that can have a significant negative impact on your payback on your solar investment. Now, with the new generation of solar edge inverters, we haven't seen the reliability issue become as much of a problem. In fact, our largest installation partners, whether it's Better Earth or whether it's Titan Solar Power or the, the largest installation companies actually now prefer to use the solar edge equipment. And the advantage is that the installations, in terms of the wiring, the installations are very fast, the wiring is very clean, just like the old string inverters we used to use 10 years ago, but with the performance benefits and the monitoring benefits of the microinverter system. And so for that reason, we recommend SolarEdge for those people that are looking for a low-cost residential grid tie solar solution. If your goal is just get the best dollar-for-dollar dollar payback, it's really, really hard to beat SolarEdge with the lower cost of equipment and lower cost of installation. However, if you tend to more favor the more advanced technology and more advanced features, then I would say the Enphase is probably the solution for you. I mean, these two solutions are very, very close in terms of price point. It just makes a very, very slight difference. But SolarEdge, as of this recording, which is just about going into 2022, SolarEdge is about 10 to 15 cents per watt lower cost on the overall installation than what a comparable end phase system would be. The other thing I should mention is that both of these companies now have introduced their own uh, in-house branded battery solution. So Enphase has the IQ battery system, which will be coming available very soon. And then SolarEdge has its energy bank battery solution. So if you're looking for a solar power system that allows you to start now getting solar only, but would give you the option to add a battery in the future, both of these products would give you that flexibility for future expansion. One thing I should also mention about the warranty for the two products. And although SolarEdge has really upped its game recently in terms of reliability, it still comes standard with a 12 year warranty. You have to actually pay a little bit extra to get the full 25 year warranty. Whereas Enphase offers out of the box the 25 year warranty. So if you consider that SolarEdge is a slightly lower cost solution, if you add in the additional, and it's about, it's about $899, I believe, to do the extension for the SolarEdge 25-year warranty, when you add in that additional cost, these two products are virtually 
going to be head to head in terms of overall cost of a fully installed system with a warranty. Well, folks, this has been a presentation and a comparison of the Enphase microinverter system and the Solar Edge DC optimizer system. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we present on the Solar Surge channel, please be sure to click on the like button. Uh, and also click on the subscribe button as well, so that way as we publish new videos, it'll come up on your homepage and you can keep up with us. And of course, if you are in the process of evaluating solar power options for your home, and you'd like to get a price quote or a comparison quote on either of these two systems, we'd be happy to provide that for you. Just feel free to reach out on the link below there, and it'll take you to our website where you can schedule a short virtual meeting with one of our system designers. And guys, like I always say, if you ever do the meeting or request a price quote, there's no obligation to do anything with it. It's really just information for you, especially if you're actively shopping and comparing different solar providers and solar options. Uh, but of course, if this is something that you would like to do for your home, then we're happy to get the process started for you right away. Well, folks, I thank you again for taking the time to tune into Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.